Bingo. Good day. Welcome to the Artist and Artisan News. My name is Joyce Quijano. Our story today is about the artist and artisan. We are going to interview about their life as an artist and artisan. Shortly, we will be going to live to our reporter in Ala Emanolo Portich, Bukidnon, artist Mr. Renato Magada, and artisan Mr. Daniel Malagong at Maluko, Manolo Portich, Bukidnon. Okay, so now let's go live to Miss Shaina Magada, who is in Alay Manolo for Teach Bukidnon. Morning, Mr. Renato. Thank you for granting us the opportunity to talk with you. Good morning also, Miss. I am happy to be chosen to share my expertise as well as my works with you. So let me just start with this question, sir. What is your full name and where do you currently live? I am Renato Agua Magada, and I am currently residing at Zone 5 Ala in Manolo Fortich, Bukidnon. So for you, mister, what is the purpose of your artworks? I use this as a means of self-expression, where I can visualize my thoughts also when I am feeling overwhelmed. So for you, mister, what is the purpose of your artworks? I use this as a means of self-expression, where I can visualize my thoughts also when I am feeling overwhelmed. I grab my materials and start drawing. Also, with this, I learn how to draw charcoal painting, which I then use as a source of income. Oh, that's a very good reason, sir. So, when did you start painting? I started at the age of five. I even won best in talent during our kitty king and queen. Unfortunately, my piece during that time was lost. I'd like to share it with you. Oh, it's such a shame to not see that piece of yours, sir, during your kindergarten days. Well, however, do you have any advice for any aspiring artist like you or wants to draw but lacks the skill or materials? My advice to all the aspiring artists out there who want to draw but they lack the skills or materials, there's always room for improvement. You may feel what you lack, what it takes to be called an artist, but you should always remember that no one is at their best at the first try. Practice, practice, practice. That's all it takes. Thank you. The power of practice. That's all it takes. Thank you so much for giving us your time, Mr. Renato. It was fun talking with you. You're very welcome, Miss. Thank you also for choosing me to be your respondent. I appreciate it. Miss Shaina Magada. After we hear the story of our artist, Mr. Renato Magada, let's hear the story of the artisan, Mr. Daniel Malagum. How he started being an artisan. Live at Maloko, Manolo for Teach, Bukidnon, Miss Christine Obal Obal. Magkuyo sa Maloko for Teach, Bukidnon. Ang sa kang year nagsugod o hino sa mga furniture time? 2014 pa. Ano sa'yo mong una na nahimo nga furniture? Nga divider, ano? Pila naka, pila naka ka years na nahimo? Pila ka years? Mara na 20 years na siguro. Hmm. Ano sa'yo mo na-discover nga nadekay nga nga talent na maghimo mga furniture? Lugera. Bata pa ko. Kisa may nag, uh, kisa may nagtudlo sa mo ha? Ano ba? Contraction. Mm. Kung gahin mo ka mga furniture, unsa man imong gakabati, gakalipay baka or unsa man imong gakabati? <laughs> <laughs> malipay po makahuman ah. Ah, malipay ka mahuman na. O bili ka mahuman, di pa ka malipay ka mahuman. Pero <laughs> <laughs> so, makita na yun din mo, di na ma-fail na yun din mo na. Kuhan ka, nakahin mo ka anong buka na. Mm. Mura ba niyong ginagamit o panginabuhian? Magimo furniture. Usahay, magamit. Hindi magiging permanente na ang mga anak. Sige. 
So that's our headlines for today. I hope you enjoyed and we inspired you with the stories behind those beautiful masterpieces. To our artist for today, Mr. Renato Magada, and artisan, Mr. Daniel Malago, your artwork is not just an object to showcase, but something that inspires us to appreciate the beauty behind every artwork. Again, I'm Gillian Luardo at your service.